if you have your O-level or IGCSE ad math exam in either February, March, May, June, or October, November of 2025, then do not start your preparation before watching this video. Assalamualaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Saad and you're watching Math Lead by Saad, a channel where I make videos on O-level and IGCSE maths and ad maths and A-level math. So, big announcement and that is the ad math syllabus of O-levels and IGCSE, the syllabus codes for which are 4037 and 0606 respectively has been changed. So, the changes are, uh, I wouldn't say somewhere in between. I mean, they're not exactly minor changes or major changes, but you know, nonetheless, they are worth paying attention to. And every time there's a change in syllabus, uh, just like the one we have, that means there's a change in paper pattern. There is a change in the kind of resources that we will now use. So if you have your exam in October, November 2024, then this video is completely irrelevant for you, in fact. Stop watching this video, go back to doing whatever it is that you were, because these changes do not apply to you. These changes are basically from 2025 onwards all the way to 2027. So I've divided this video into three parts. You can skip to whatever part you want to watch. Uh, the first part is where we will be discussing the change in syllabus. The second part is where we will be discussing the change in paper pattern. The third and the final part is the resources. Okay, so let's start with the changes in syllabus. So on the left-hand side, as you can see, I have here the previous uh, syllabus and uh, the first change that you will notice is that we don't have indices and certs in the new syllabus. Does that mean it's not going to be tested? No, absolutely not. It's still going to be tested. The only difference is that this is now something which is considered as assumed knowledge. Now, why is that? Wait, that's not how you spell knowledge. Let me fix that first. Okay. So the reason why this is considered assumed knowledge now is because this is part of the math syllabus, the math syllabus of IGCSE and O-levels, which also has been changed. If you want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comment section and I will do that. So uh, this uh, you won't find in the new resource, which we will talk about in a few minutes, but this is something that you are expected to know. Just like, you know, let me give you an example. You know how um, you don't formally study sine rule and cosine rule in ad maths, but it's still part of the syllabus. It still gets tested. Just like that, indices and certs is not something that you will formally study, but it's still part of the syllabus. The examiner is expecting you to have uh, full knowledge of indices and certs. Okay, now, next is... The next uh, major change that you will see is that we have coordinate geometry of, uh, of the circle. And this is basically the topic that has been added. This is a new topic. So this is uh, the only change. And uh, I do already, if let's say you have started your preparation and you want content on this, you can watch the videos that I have for AS Math because I've gone over the syllabus. It's more or less the same, I expect. Uh, this topic when it's tested in ad maths to be slightly less complicated compared to AS math, but you know, the concepts are more or less the same. Okay, then another change, although uh, worth mentioning is that you will see that differentiation and integration is not mentioned separately. That's because it is now basically part of calculus. Okay, and other than that, it's exactly the same. Okay. So that is it as far as the changes in syllabus are concerned. Next, we have paper pattern. And we have a bit of a bad news, I should say, and that is, let's talk about the previous paper pattern. So a lot of times I used to get questions that, what's the difference between paper one and paper two as far as ad math is concerned? So previously there was no difference because all the topics um, uh, that were tested in paper one, you can expect them not to be tested in paper two. I mean, it was just, uh, to put it simply, it was just to divide the syllabus, okay? However, some extensive topics such as trigonometry, differentiation, integration, you know, topics that have multiple uh, concepts inside of them, they were tested in both the papers because it's practically impossible to test all the concepts in one paper. Anyway, so that's, that's how it was earlier. Uh, both of them were for two hours, the weightage was 50%. Now also the duration is the same, the weightage is the same. The, the bad news that I'm talking about is actually right here. And that is paper one is now non-calculator. Earlier you can see that scientific calculators were allowed in both the papers, but now paper one, I should highlight this, is not a, cal a non-calculator paper basically, you know, much like, um, uh, O-level math paper one. So yeah, uh, that's uh, that's it as far as the paper pattern is concerned. Now let's talk about the resources. So you 
should get your hands on the new resources, okay? But at the same time, the old ones that you might have are not completely irrelevant. So this book, this is like, I don't know, this is the real OG of the AdMath books. Why? Because it's been there for as long as I can remember from for a very long time, AdMath was equal to this book. So if you have this book or, you know, maybe your elder sibling or whoever and has given this book to you, it, don't throw it away. It's very relevant. The only thing that you should watch out for is that the topics in this book are no more part of the syllabus. The following topics. Number one is sets. So sets is chapter one of this book, not part of the syllabus anymore. Matrices for a very long time haven't been part of the syllabus and relative velocity also not part of the syllabus which is chapter 24 of this book okay so you can still use this book but all the material in this book you're supposed to use it as extra practice material okay now this is the book that you uh, that students who were giving the exam in may june 2024 must have been using or even if you have your exam in october november 2024 this is the book that you must be using this book is still very much relevant. All the topics in this book are relevant. The only disadvantage is that you have the new topic that has been added, which is coordinate geometry of the circle, is not included in this book. And this book has indices and thirds. Sorry about that. This book has indices and thirds, which, like I said, is not removed from the syllabus, but it's part of assumed knowledge. So, you know, if you want to brush up your indices and third skill, or if you want extra practice material, you can get it from this book. And yeah, that's it. I will, however, leave a link in the description where you can find out the resources endorsed by Cambridge. That is the official books as per the new syllabus. Now, don't buy all of them. Just get your hands on one or two books. Maybe, uh, I have gone, I'll give my personal recommendation also, okay, after having gone through all the books, but every book has its own advantages and disadvantages. Mainly what you should be doing is you should be focusing on past paper questions. Now, having uh, mentioned past papers, speaking of past papers, basically, uh, another video that I plan to make is, because now we have a non-calculator paper and calculator paper, so another video that I want to make is basically dividing the topics that can be expected in paper one and the topics that can be expected in paper two. Reason behind that is very simple, because uh, earlier there were some topics that could be done without calculator, but you know we didn't really have to practice them without using a calculator, because in both the papers calculator was allowed, but now uh, it uh, will be with because we don't have a lot of uh, sample papers although uh, Cambridge has shared specimen papers I'll share a link to that also in the description but uh, because a lot of the past papers although the content is very relevant but the pattern is kind of irrelevant for at least paper one because um, earlier calculator was allowed so it's a uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for students especially private students who are preparing on their own to sort of you know uh, take a call where they should use a calculator and where they shouldn't. So I'll try and make it as easy for you guys as possible. And yeah, that's it. If you got to the end of the video, then leave a thumbs up in the comment section. And that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.